Hi guys, Tim here doing another um, tables, well, sorry, not tables, military review today, and this time we'll be on a quite typical Second World War British infantryman's uh, 303 British Lee Enfield ammunition pouch. And now this is just one of which you originally get two. You'll get, say, if the guy's, um, you know, um, torso is here, you get one there on that side, and then one on that side, which side. This is just one of. And now originally uh, the belt, which I do actually have a belt, but sadly I haven't actually brought it out at the uh, moment. No, it's over there, okay. Would well, basically the belt go right through there, and then you'll get like a little uh, mini strap basically extension, which will go up there, and then you'll get other, um, sometimes you'll get these, or you can get other ones which are multiple, multiple uh, pouches, you know one on top of the other. And now this is actually uh, dated 19, 1942. There, so you never know, this might have been worn by a guy at Dieppe in August 19th, 1942. That, that, just like Dunkirk, failed attempt to um, relieve France from their um, well, actually, it's the second time, really, to relieve France from their uh, German occupation. Um, but yeah, and also what I brought out from my own collection is this typical the Enfield 303 British uh, clip, uh, just very standard um, date, uh, original dated rounds of this one's 1945. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, what I would have done is so basically this is how this would have housed two clips as you can see. There, so basically just put it in, shove it in there. Oh, this is a bit old and tight, but yeah, you shove it in like that. And then of course you close it up like that. And then of course there's the, does that sometimes it's annoying. Uh, one, two, that's better. Then of course you've got the back one. Should we do this? Couldn't get in. Yeah. Ah, that's better. Yeah, so we'd shove in with ease like that. Then of course you get that one, then you get another one which got flop flops in there as well. Then of course you would close it up like that, so they're in there. And now, also another little thing which, uh, for you uh, new collectors like myself, is um, when you do get ones which are button, you know, typically um, holsters and ammunition pouches, really, quite rare, rarely, um, I'll, well, um, it's, it, will be, it will be easy enough and far more accessible, um, successful enough um, to not keep opening and closing them and sh you know and clicking them you know um, like that every five seconds uh, because it might wear out the actual thing and these are just only lightly threaded on really so yeah uh, as I said 1942 dated uh, second world war British um, army um, part of a British army field pouch um, actually I'll be back in a sec, I'll actually quickly show you how that attaches to the belt. Back in a sec. Let's find the belt. There it is. I haven't done this for a while, so... So yeah, this is a standard issue British um, military belt. I've also got it. Naval one as well, 1940 something dated. Oh, so that, that's fine, that's fine. So does this. Uh, might not be able to. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to bother. So basically, you attach it on. Yeah, so basically, what you do is you attach it on. Um, 
like that, put the first clip in and then the second clip in, which is very difficult, so all I'm going to do is just show that, and then it goes, of course, around the belt, around the person, like, so, like that. So, yeah. And also this is, I think, is a 19, if I can say, 19, hard to say, I think 1944 dated this one is, but yeah. But yeah, um, well that's really been it, a typical British Second World War um, through the British ammunition pouch. So, thanks for watching guys, see ya, bye!